Hey, my name is Melissa Carroll and today I'd like to talk about the present perfect with for and since. We use the present perfect tense with for and since when we want to say that something started in the past and continues in the present. The present perfect with for and since. It began in the past and continues in the present. The present perfect is formed by two things. She has worked in that office for six years. Has is the auxiliary and worked is the past participle. For example, I've studied at UVic since July. She's lived in Victoria for 15 years. What do you know about for and since? For, we use for to show how long a present condition has lasted. For an hour, for two weeks, for a month, for five years, for 10 minutes, for a decade, for 10 seconds, for a long time. For example, I've worked at this job for one year. They've been married for a long time. Some examples, he's been a hiker for 10 years. She's been a dancer for six years. Now, you can also say he has been a hiker for 10 years. I just use the contraction, he's. He's been a hiker for 10 years. You can equally say she has been a dancer for six years, but native English speakers usually do the contraction, so she's been a dancer for six years. Since, we use since to show something that started in the past and continues to the present. Since nine o'clock, since April 4th, since 2001, since 1230, since I came to Victoria, since Christmas, since last weekend, since a month ago, etc. For example, I've been a teacher since 2010. Examples, they have won three gold medals since 2008. You could also say they've won three gold medals since 2008. They've been famous skaters since they won gold. He's played soccer every summer since 1995. I've loved soccer ever since I was a kid. Compare since with for. Here we have four sentences. Two of them are very similar. And I want you to decide which blank goes with since and which one with for. I've had this book blank May 21st. I've had this book blank three weeks. I've been in Victoria blank 2006. I've been in Victoria blank two days. Yeah, I have had this book since May 21st because that's a very specific time. I have had this book for three weeks, which is a duration of time, a length of time. I have been in Victoria since 2006. That's a very specific time in the past. I have been in Victoria for two days. That's a duration of time or a length of time. Pop quiz. For or since. She has worked as a secretary blank 1991. They've been married blank a few years. They've lived in Victoria blank a long time. He's written five books blank I met him. Yeah she has worked as a secretary since 1991. They've been married for a few years. They have lived in Victoria for a long time and He's written five books since I met him. How about a few more? I haven't been to the beach blank last summer. We haven't seen John blank several weeks. Has she studied hard blank yesterday? I haven't been to the beach since last summer. We haven't seen John for several weeks. Has she studied hard since yesterday? Now what about asking questions with the present perfect with for and since? Do you know? When we want to ask questions actually in the present perfect with for and since, we want to know how long. So when we want to know the length of time something has taken place, we use how long. For example, how long has she studied English at the University of Victoria? Your turn. Ask your partner, how long have you blank? 
How long have you been in Victoria? How long have you studied English? How long have you had long hair? How long have you, etc. Now, how are they different? Present perfect and present perfect with for or since. You would think they're maybe the same, but they are not. They are very different. The present perfect is an experience in life, perhaps, or an action that took place or an event that took place in the past at an unspecified time. And the present perfect with for or since is something that began in the past and continues to the present. That means it's not stopped. It's still true. It was true when it started in the past. It's true today, and it's probably going to be true tomorrow. So the present perfect is finished, but it has a connection to the present. Or it's unspecified in the past. So it took place in the past, it's finished, but we don't know when. Whereas the present perfect with for and since is not finished. It started at a specific time in the past and it continues in the present. That means it started in the past and continued, it continues to today and it's likely going to continue tomorrow in fact. So the present perfect examples would be I have lived in Europe. See, I don't say when. I have studied English before. But the present perfect with for a sense would be I have lived in Europe for five years. That means I still live in Europe. I moved there five years ago and I still live in Europe and I'm likely going to still be living in Europe tomorrow. I have studied English since I was 10 years old. That means I began studying English when I was 10 years old and I have been studying maybe on and off, but I have continued to study English. I'm studying English today and I will study English tomorrow. So it began in the past and never finished. It can, it's true today. Let's do an activity called truth or lies. I want you to write three sentences, but one of them is a lie. Of course, I want you to write your sentences in the present perfect with for and since. Here are some examples. I have lived in Victoria for 20 years. I have studied art for years. I have played the piano since I was a kid. Which one is a lie? Which one is a lie? I have played the piano since I was a kid is the lie. I have never played the piano in my life. In fact, I'm quite musically challenged. Your turn. I want you to write three sentences. Remember, one of them is a lie. Now I want you to mingle together as a class. Everyone stand up and share your three sentences. You can read them if you like. And then ask the question, which one is the lie? And then everyone guesses which one they think is the lie. Don't forget to review. The end.